Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to check your JMX file and an automated way to check your JMX file and your test plan in JMeter. So a lot of time it happens that there are some issues with your test plan or your JMX file and when you start running your test plans then you will find some issues on the command line. So we need some way where we can check our JMX file prior to running the test plan and here is a way where you can check your JMX file without running the test plan. So we have a tool called JMX check tool or test plan checker tool and if I go to Google I will search for JMeter JMX checker tool and here you can see the here is the documentation JMX checker tool I will go here and here is the wiki page for this plugin and this is the URL the URL says test plan check tool so it is also called as test plan check tool uh, I'll just copy this URL and make it available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you in the description of this video so the first is download and install gmx checker tool in jmeter and here is the link now there are two ways you can get this tool the first way will be you can just download it from this website so you can just go here and click on download and here you can check the version so I will get the latest version and it will download a zip folder and then you can go to this zip folder and unzip it I will say extract all and unzip and here in this folder you will find two folders bin and here are uh, a bat file and an sh file now in case you are on linux or mac you will use the test plan check dot sh if you are on windows you will use the bat file so these two files you have to place in your jmeters bin folder so if i show you in my case now i am on windows but you can do the same steps on mac as well or linux i have uh, my jmeter here jmeter 5 folder and this is the latest jmeter I am using that is 5.1.1 here you will find a bin folder and in this folder you have to place these two files and then there are also these files in the lib folder so in the lib folder you have to place these two files and then go to the ext folder where you will place these two files so if you go to the your jmeter folder you will find a lib folder so you can place the files here and then ext folder the ext folder files comes here and then you can restart your jmeter now there is another way you can use a jmeters plugin manager so if i go to my jmeter you can see here is a icon for plugins manager and you can also find it from options and you will find a plugins manager option here now in case you do not see plugins manager in your jmeter you can just go to the plugins manager wiki page so if you search for jmeter plugins manager so you will go to the link here this is the plugins manager link and here you can just download the jar file from here from this link and put in the jmeters lib ext folder and restart jmeter and you will see the plugins manager here so i will go to the plugins manager and here i will go to the available plugins make sure it is not already installed in your installed plugin section i will go to available plugins and search for check so i will get this test plan check tool so here it is available as test plan check tool and you can select this and at the bottom you will find this button apply changes and restart jmeter so i will click here and it will add the plugin that is the test plan checker or the jmx checker tool and it will restart the jmeter so you can see now it is restarting jmeter so these are the two ways to get the plugin download from above link or get through plugins manager so this was step number one now step number two will be 
So I have got my JMeter up and running. Let me very quickly create a thread group. So in my test plan, I will add a thread group. And here inside the thread group, I will very quickly add a sampler, a HTTP request. And here for adding the details, uh, let me go to some website. I will go to my blog, lifecharger.org. And here, let me just go and copy this link. I'll just check the home page and I will put this here. And I do not need the HTTP. This goes into the protocol. And we know if the protocol is HTTP, we, we need not give it. We can skip it. If it is HTTPS, we have to provide HTTPS here. And that's it. I'm just going to this main site. All right, now I can also add a listener here. So I will do a right click here on the thread group and add a listener view results tree. Uh, I can add some more listeners also. Let me add view results in table and for the requests as well, I can just copy and paste it multiple times so that I have uh, some good data. I'll copy and paste in the same thread group. And I will say this is request one and this is request two. All right, so now I have got this test plan. I will save this. And now, once you have your test plan, you can go to this documentation of this tool. That is JMX checker tool. And here you can see how you can test your JMX file. So here you have to go to the go to your command line and then if you go to your jmeter and go to your bin folder you will find this testplancheckerbat or testplancheck.sh so these are the two files that we want to use if you are on linux on mac you will use testplancheck.sh if you are on windows you will use testplancheck.bat so you have to actually go to command line and then go to this location one shortcut is or an easier way can be you can just go to this bin folder and in your address bar here just say cmd and hit enter you will see command line has opened on the same location that is jmeter bin folder now i will say test plan check dot bat because i am on windows and then you have to say here minus minus jmx and the location of your jmx file so here i will say minus minus jmx and now i have to give the location of my jmx file now in my case my jmx file is present here itself that is thread group dot jmx and you can see here this is if you see the location here at the top this is threadgroup.jmx so on the command line i will just say in quotes now i'm using quotes because there is a space in my uh, name of the jmx file there is a thread space group if there is no there are no spaces you can skip the quotes and that's it i will run this and it will check and it is saying jmx is fine so you can see it says my JMX is fine. So there are no issues. If there are any issues, it will show you. And you can also use some other flags or options. You can use minus minus stats or minus minus tree minus dump as well. So if I say here, along with the earlier command, I will say minus minus stats and hit enter. So you can see it is showing me all the stats of this test plan. JMX is fine. And this is the element stats goes below. 
thread groups, controllers, config items, listeners, samplers, R2, all these things. And if I say tree dump, so if I use this command, I will say minus minus tree minus dump here. And here it shows me again JMX is fine and the tree structure of my test plan. And if I use both of these, like shown in the example here, I will say here minus minus stats and minus minus tree hyphen dump. So again, I get both of the results here. All right. So these are the commands you can use. Now, one thing to notice here is you can see in this example, it shows the presence of these two files in the ext folder. However, I found it in the bin folder. So you can just check if the files are present in your bin folder or your ext folder. Uh, I will also copy this command and make it available here. Run commands. This is one command. Then we have this command. So these are the commands. You can directly use this or say minus minus stats. or say minus minus tree hyphen dump or both of these together. So these are the commands and this will help you to automatically check your JMX file. I hope this was useful for you. Thank you for watching.